welcome to this uh, last meeting in this series. Uh, in a sense, it was an unplanned meeting. We, we had supposed to have finished in March. But uh, we thought we'll have one more to cover a few more rivers and streets. <coughs> it started in June last year. Essentially, the trigger for this was a state of dismay at the condition of the Yamuna and the Ganga, the river of the national capital and the holy river of the country. And one started asking, why is this happening? Why are these rivers dying? Other rivers in other states also. And uh, why are some rivers still in reasonably good shape in some places? By the way, is it OK? Can you hear me clearly? <clears throat> because I think the sound system in this hall is not very good. It needs to be improved. So we asked ourselves, what are the factors that have led to the decline of some rivers? And what are the factors that have helped to preserve some rivers in good shape? What lessons can we draw from this? What needs to be done in the future? And so we had uh, the Ganga, the Yamuna, and the next was rivers of Bihar, Kosi, and Bagmati. <coughs> then we took advantage of the presence of uh, Ajay Dikshit and Deepak Gawali here to ask them to talk about the Bagmati in Kathmandu. Then we had the rivers of <coughs> uh, Western Ghats, Maharashtra and Western Ghats, uh, Pandu, um, Hegde, and uh, Parinita Dandekar, Tamil Nadu, Dr. Janakarajan, Kerala, Rivers of Kerala, Dr. Latha, Gujarat, Himanshu Thakkar, Bangalore, Karnataka from Leo Saldana, and Andhra Pradesh, Uma Mageshwari. I think, is that complete? Chandan that, that, Mahanta, Northeast. 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 Chandan Mahanta. In fact, Sanjay Hazarika was supposed to have been the second speaker on that day in August. But he couldn't come because of certain reasons. And today also we tried to get him, but he has some problems. So, but Chandan Mahata covered both uh, Brahmaputra and other, and other rivers. And the idea is to bring all these together in a book which tells you something about the state of India's rivers. <clears throat> then we found that certain states and rivers had not been covered. So we convened one extra meeting, that is today's meeting, we'll have the rivers of Odisha, West Bengal, and the Indus system. We have three speakers and a discussant. What is the order in which they are listed here? We have Dr. Kalyan Rudra speaking about the rivers of West Bengal. By the way, the title was Living Rivers, Dying Rivers. There have not been many instances of living rivers so far. Two were mentioned, uh, Tamil Nadu, Tamraparani in Tamil Nadu, and uh, Shastri River in Maharashtra. But they are also under threat. So let us see whether there are any river, living rivers in these areas. So, Dr. Kalyan Rudra, Dr. Ranjan Panda, Rivers of Odisha, and Professor Shakil Ramshu on the Indus water systems. And Jayanta Bandiyopadhyaya as a, he will offer comments on all these papers. <coughs> I think I'll do the introductions straight away. Dr. Kalyan Rudra is a chairman West Bengal Wasteland Development Corporation and advisor to the Department of the Environment Government of West Bengal. He has been involved in a research project on water resources and its quality in West Bengal under the aegis of the West Bengal Pollution Control Board and also the director of another research project on the rivers of West Bengal. That led to a book, didn't it? Yeah, that will come out. And uh, he is an, where is that atlas? You might, might display this. Atlas of Changing River Courses in West Bengal. So he is going to talk to us about West Bengal rivers. Then we have the rivers of Odisha being talked about by 
my friend. Uh, you are number two, are you? In this list, according yes. to this. Third, third. 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 No, your third, yes. Mm. So he is a sociologist, he is a practitioner, he is an activist, researcher, and writer with uh, two decades of experience working on water, environment, and climate change issues. <coughs> he is the convener of Water Initiatives Odisha and he's also a freelance journalist. And then we have Professor Shakil Ramsu. He is Professor and Head Department of Earth Sciences, University of Kashmir. You're in Srinagar. Yes. He has worked in the past as an invited scientist in the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and thereafter at Terry in Delhi. <coughs> he has published numerous publications and is currently engaged in collaborative and sponsored research on hydrological modeling, climate change impacts on water resources, and so on. I came to know him because we were both together in a what is called a track two initiative on India Pakistan studies. We've been meet, having two or three meetings of this, and uh, so that is my acquaintance with him. And I thought it would be a good idea to get him to talk about the Indus system because, in any case, nobody had talked about it. And then Dr. Jayanta Bandhyopadhyaya is a friend of long standing from <coughs> IIM Calcutta. So let me start with uh, requesting Dr. Kalyan Rudra to start this. I think, what, uh, 20 minutes each should be? 